Mission. Boom. Two and three. Start. Welcome, welcome, player players. So, thank you for tuning into this video as we're going to be taking a look at some of the most anticipated figures for me personally in a very long time. And without further ado, this is Toonshi Studios' Metal Slug 3 line. Man, oh, I've been waiting for such a long time for some figures from this from this video game series to have come out. Um, these went up for pre-order late 2021 on 5K Toys' website, which is where I pre-ordered them from. And uh, they started showing up earlier this month. So obviously I'm super stoked and I want you guys to be as excited with me if you're interested in seeing these figures. So this is from Toonshi Studios as mentioned. Toonshi, Toonshi Studios claims this to be a premium product. And with premium product, that means that you have to have everything up to quality. And so far, these display boxes are legit. And let's go and take a look at, real quick, the box itself. So I'll show one. This is Marco. So they gave us two of the most coincidental figures or characters from the video game. So we got Marco and then we got uh, Tarma. And that's two of the four. And they already announced the other two for pre-order. So... This is the box that it comes in. Here is the front of the box. Now, this is pretty dope. For those that don't know or haven't played the game, uh, when you're on the select screen, this is the look you get. M3 signifies for Metal Select 3, of course. Uh, here is the right side of the box, or the left side, our left side. Um, here is the back side of the box with a transparent tra uh, promotional image of Marco, some readables and legalese, official licensed SNK sticker down here, Marco Rossi. Uh, the other side of the box, here is the top and the bottom which is not much but check this out this also has an open flap design so that way you can see the figure in its tray and its clear blister tray um, here is uh, the same design that they have from the outside of the box and they also have a little compartment up there which came with instruction booklet and an idea of the buck that they use for the figure uh, and yeah I mean this is pretty premium if you ask me so I like the presentation that they gave us here. And so they released four figures in the first series. Uh, two of the, of the figures are the quintessential characters that I was referring to, and then here are the other two, which I'll do in a separate video. They're just two different soldiers, one with an open mouth and the other one with a closed mouth. Anyways, let's go ahead and see how well these guys are equipped to go ahead and save the world, because that's technically what they do in the video game. And the running them, gun them. All right. I just wanted to quickly show you Tarma's box before we move into the figures itself and the accessories. Uh, same design, of course, but the difference is you have Tarma here in the back. So Tarma Roving's uh, uh, promotional images of the figure and then transparency. Lord have mercy. Accessories galore. So both of them come with a plethora of accessories. And some that are common, some that are exclusive. So let's go through the commons first. Bear with me here. And then once we hit the exclusives, I'll go ahead and leave the box for the for the character that I'm covering. So in terms of common accessories, of course, they all come, they both come with uh, their pairs of hands. So these are the hands that they come with right out the box. These are a pair of fist hands for both left and right. They have a left and right gripping hand. And you'll see what this can go on or what can go on these hands, more like grenades and whatnot. Uh, their blades or their knives or daggers. Now, they both have only a left thumbs up hand. They both come with the same, same, same setup. So, left thumbs up hand. A left more closed gripping hand. And a right trigger finger hand. I wish they would have given us at least a left of the trigger finger hand as well so that way you can you know have have, have them wield the, their guns with both left and right now they both have the same exact beretta pretty cool um there are actually you now the cool thing about this beretta is there are some paint washes on them like you can definitely tell there's like some weathering very minor very minor but it's it's definitely there there's like some gray scratches Apologies that my glare can't, you can't really tell with my glare, but for the most part, it's all just painted in flat, glossy black. And here's the dope part, the clip. The clip comes out, and you can see the detail of one single bullet there. Pretty awesome that they gave us that. 
Alrighty, they both have the same, same, same Beretta. They both have, of course, their machine gun. And the cool thing is this machine gun has the action, pump action, for the little grenade launcher there. Um, it's just same, same design. I mean, well, I mean, the same paint scheme. It's got just uh, the glossy black. I can't really see if there's any, any form of washes or weathering. It almost looks like there's some discoloration, which, which is not... You know, which is on purpose in between the the grooves here, uh, the crevices within the gun. But other than that, it's just painted in black and then the brown. They also both have their blade. Their, of course, a little knife here has a serrated edge painted in that that metallic silver and the glossy black for the handle. They both have their own for the for the thirsty sessions, the water bottle painted in just all plain green and they both have their stylized which is pretty damn dope yeah most of this uh, most of the, the 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 accessories or you can tell are, are going to be a more of that stylized uh look to them just like the video game and you got of course the paint washes transitioning from the lighter green to the darker green and the antenna and what i believe to be a button and the, and the speaker there um, and they both also have their grenades so the only difference though is that these stick grenades um, they're both the same however marco only comes with the one whereas tarma comes with a total of four stick grenades and you'll see why in just a sec now these are very similar accessories however different as you can tell so marco comes with the letter h and tarma comes with the letter f now what these are uh they're pretty much their crates their weapon crates uh, this is their heavy machine gun. So in the video game, you just walk over this and you get a heavy machine gun. So you fight with the pistol, you walk over this, you get a heavy machine gun. And then this is the flamethrower. So pretty dope. Now with these, the cool thing is that you can remove the letters. So the letters are actually magnets. And they're both the same on same letter on both sides. So down the road, they might give us more different letters. But yeah, it's kind of tough to remove the magnets, which is a good thing. There you go. So you can remove the magnets. And it's the same for both. All righty. Now, in terms of accessories, that is the common accessories between the two figures. So now let's take a look at Marco's exclusive accessories first. So to start off with, this is pretty dope. Uh, he does have effects, an effect piece for his heavy machine gun. So if you can just kind of port that in there inside the actual barrel there. And you have, voila, the shooting effect. Bra, 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 bra. It's a Merc some fools. So yeah, he comes with that, and <laughs> this was pretty funny. I mean, it was like a little prop. Can you guys tell what that is? Kaka. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a little, it's a little dookie emoji, a little poo emoji. So he has that exclusive to Marco, and they gave him a little medal, which is pretty cool. Um, now. They also gave them, now they both have their own different missiles. So here's like a little flying missile. Now, and it, within the figure I, uh, or the box, I couldn't find a place to put this in. So it might just be like just a random extra, which is, I mean, I'll take it either way. Or maybe something, some somehow some other figure down the road will have like a little stand to prop this up. Uh, so this is Marco's exclusive little missile with, with the uh, clear plastic um uh, but it's, you already know the fire that it looks like it's launching itself uh, and it transitions from that lighter orange to a deeper red um, now he also comes this this is pretty cool I like that they gave us this so check this little borsita little baggie so inside this little baggie of course are metal slugs and they're actually they feel like real bullets I'll leave a I'll leave some uh, in there so these are actually metal Believe it or not. So these are all really, really nice and detailed. Hopefully you guys can make that out. Check that out. My sausage finger is probably getting away, but I hopefully I, I hope you guys can make that out. Yeah, so comes with a handful of them. And the reason he has that is because check this out. So he has those bullets along. Ooh, one got stuck alongside with this magazine now unfortunately it doesn't look like this magazine i was trying to fiddle with 
his uh, assault rifle or his, uh, his heavy machine gun and you can't remove the magazine nor can you port any other magazine inside there uh, so this is just more of an extra but it makes sense that they gave him this why I was looking at the instructions so both uh, both figures come with these instructions so it's pretty dope that they gave us this As you can see articulation covers articulation covers the accessories and then right there he has this little box which I'll show you so he has this little box this box is plastic looks like cardboard and what you can do is you can pretty much imitate an ammunitions box so you just throw all these in there and you got yourself a little ammunitions box with grenades and magazines ammunition and bullets and whatnot so yeah that's pretty dope so aside from that of course last but not least this is the head scope that he has right out the box lord i think they did a solid job replicating the video game look so again metal slug has been known for its real stylized arcade look and feel like big heads small bodies the proportions are are wonky and they did the same thing with the figures so check that out very 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 stylized so they did a they did a a, a very very great job replicating the look of the actual video game itself in plastic form and then his this is his secondary head scope this one's dope so obviously his mouth is open he has that big a big smile um, I believe this is replicating or mimicking or at least uh, representing the his uh, his winning pose so every time you beat one of the levels he goes ahead and throws up his thumbs up wow and does that big big smile alrighty so that is it for Marco's accessories and now let's take a look at Tarma's accessories so looking at Tarma's accessories he does also have his own little effect piece for his heavy machine gun and this of course just like his crate mentions it's a flamethrower effect so you just port that in there and now you have yourself a flamethrower yeah that's dope that they do this uh, I'm liking that they gave them both exclusive accessories because they're interchangeable between the two. Um, going on with, with uh, Tarman's accessories, <laughs> check this out. -da -da, a little watermelon. I believe this watermelon gives you uh, extra just points So in their point system. So there's a watermelon. The detail on the watermelon is pretty damn dope too. You can see the stripes. It's in that two-tone green. I can't, oh, right there, you can see that where they stuck them together right here. There's that little little crease there. Or, but, yeah, pretty dope watermelon. Very, very cartoony. Um, this is his missile. So, it's a different styled missile than the one Marco comes with. As you can see, two different kinds of missiles. But in terms of the effect, very similar. It's just that clear plastic as if it's launching. And... He also comes with one of the coins that you get. So throughout the game, you get like little items and whatnot and you pile up coins, kind of like any other arcade game or, or side-scrolling game like Mario and whatnot. He also has, now this one here I believe to be his pack of cigarettes. You don't see that too often. Correct me if I'm wrong, it could be like a juice box, but I'm pretty dang sure that's a pack of cigarettes and the hand that that belongs to you throw them in that more wider gripping hand and you just pretty much place it in there yeah you guys get the idea so he has those two now just like uh, Marco's accessories he does have this little wooden crate so as you can see the top fell off so he does have this little wooden crate that opens up and the cool thing about this wooden crate is you can throw in, just like Marco, a, a few set of accessories. So he has these little missiles, which is pretty dope. And you just throw them in there. And as mentioned earlier, he has more grenades to him. And you can just throw the grenades in there. And now what you got is a blossom of different bullets. Look at that. If you ask me, 
this is definitely definitely starting to seem like it's well worth the price tag of 99.99 and then last but not least well, actually two more things two more things three actually here's his pair of lokes so it's g lokes so for those that have played the game of course tarma has glasses on for the most part throughout the whole entire time so he's known to have his trademark glasses his little lokes and I'll show you how those look in just a sec across uh, his, uh, well, on his face. He comes with three, just in case you break or lose them. I'm glad that they did that. So they gave us extra glasses, so that way we don't lose them. Um, if you ask me, it might not be or sound like a bad idea to carefully super glue those on, on, on the figures themselves. But you do that at your own discretion. So here's his first head sculpt. And this is the one he comes with right out the box. Check that out. So... Again, they did a phenomenal job giving us a plastic form of the very stylized design that the characters have within the game. And look at the hair. The hair also has the washes. I forgot to mention, Marco also has washes, if you ever take, if you, uh, if you recall. Marco has the headband here with nice little wash of different tones of the, uh, of the white. And he doesn't have a headband, of course, but the hair, the sideburns, I mean... I don't expect them to have too much detail because again, this is a stylized, more cartoony look to the to the figure. And then here is his second head scope, which very similar. He usually throws out this smirk and his little winning pose. Yeah, man, I, I'm I'm really loving these figures. So far, I'm, I'm again, it is it is starting to look like it's well worth the price tag. The price of admission and here this is with the g-logs just to kind of give you guys an idea all right well that's it for the accessories oh last thing man there's always i'm telling you there's there's two more other things i almost forgot they both come with their own backpacks so let me zoom back out they'll both come with their own backpacks uh same style than design however if you notice this is slightly darker toned green uh the olive green where this is more of the, on the brown side and yeah, look at look at the detail. I'll show you one. The details are nice. The stitching is there. The zips, and of course this. Uh, I don't. I don't. My sausage fingers. I don't really want to mess with this so much. I'll try to get the the the, the backpack on the figures out of out of the camera. But yeah, these are these are supposed to adjust. Look at the pockets here. These are actual pockets too. You can probably throw. Yeah, check that out. You can throw a grenade in there. <laughs> Man, that's dope. Yeah, this is definitely on the premium side for these figures. These figures are starting to definitely sound a lot more and look a lot more premium. And then last but not least, so I swear, this is the last accessory. They both do come with their own figure stands. So it's pretty dope that they gave us that. All figures uh, apparently are going to come with these figure stands. Which is pretty cool because right underneath the figure stands themselves, you see this little groove there or this little opening. And what, what you'll see is that this comes with the figure stand itself, which you just prop in here. And then you'll be able to place another figure stand right within that little gap. So that way you can interconnect them. Now, if you notice here, there's a little hole that allows you to actually screw this bad boy in. So let me show you while I have you guys. Let me just remove this. Apologies, I should have taken this out already. But you just go ahead and screw that on there. And it's if if you for those that collect hot toys, uh, the only figure that comes up to mind, or the only line that comes up to mind is hot toys. Um, you're going to be very familiar with this kind of figure stand. So it screws inside here, and then this little part here allows you to adjust it, and it stays on very stiff. These are very good figure stands. The cool thing is the figures are made of of cloth goods. So I don't think you'd worry so you'd have to worry so much about this clamp here damaging it. Now it's not a spring clamp; it's just a close clamp, and it actually holds pretty dang well. So it allows you to keep your figure very firm and in posture, so I prevent it from falling. So I'm liking it so far; very premium like. Alrighty, that's enough of the accessories. Let's go ahead and take a look at the two main stars. There is just so many accessories I forgot to show you. One last uh, accessory that Marco comes with is, which is this uh, 
this chain of bullets here. Yeah, so this chain of bullets that you can also throw in, in his ammunition box. Just like that. Pretty dope. And here they are. The main stars of the show. And I gotta say, Two and She Studios, I gotta applaud them. They, they gave us some really, really badass figures. So as the video game, the video game had more stylized, you know, sprites, characters. Every single element of the game was exaggerated. Toonshi pretty much gave us that in plastic form in both Marco and Tarma. So as you can tell, the style of the actual figures themselves are very animated. So you got the big smiles, the exaggerated hairdo, the bigger size of the heads versus the smaller bodies. I mean, everything about these figures are a direct representation of the Metal Slug series, and I am happy about that. So, taking a look at both figures, they both have, obviously, they're dominated by cloth goods, um, and then, of course, plastic pieces here and there, as you can tell by the joints. Um, so, let's take a look at Tarma, and they, share, they both share the same bucks. So, here, for example, this is, this sheet comes inside the box itself alongside the instructions so it gives you an insight on the articulation now as a warning it also does mention depending on temperature to not bend the or to not swivel so much the upper thigh cut as the temperature could potentially cause that to damage so i didn't heat these figures up i'm going to go through the articulation in a bit but let's take a closer look at the at the figures themselves so looking at tarma first i um we already took a look at his head scope but overall i mean just like mentioned earlier, great, 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 exaggerated, styled Tarma head sculpt. And again, he comes with the more neutral look. Um, I put on the glasses. Now, real quick warning. I'm, gosh, I'm glad I actually brought that up. Do, please do be careful with his glasses. When I say it's delicate, it is insanely delicate. Why? Because I already broke a pair. So thankfully they gave us three. What you don't want to do with the glasses is hold it uh, at a horizontal position because then you'll press and you'll bend the middle of the glasses causing pressure to break in half. So you might want to hold it this way instead, more vertical. So please do be careful with your glasses because they are very delicate, almost like a potato chip, which is a bummer because I think they should have made it with thicker material. So anyways, check this figure out. Looking at the detail, geez, yeah. I mean, I didn't really anticipate much detail, but when they said premium, they definitely meant premium. Look at the boots. So the boots definitely have some color to them. The, uh, the boots on, on Tarma are a little bit more of the brown, whereas uh, Marco has more of a reddish tone but they definitely put some washes across the crevices of the boots where the where the seams are, where the stitchings are. Look at the laces, they painted on the laces, the wrinkles, the sculpting work is, uh, is great. Check the treads, check the treads, you see? Yeah, it's definitely looking premium. Now in terms of the pants, so you can definitely tell these are cargo pants, military cargo pants. Look at the stitch work. So again, a lot of folks are usually hesitant with buying cloth good figures but you're not gonna find metal slug figures out there and if you're a big metal slug fan trust me you're gonna have to make an exception for this look at the stitching work phenomenal all everything about the clothing on both figures is tailored well fitted and definitely premium the belt made of that pleather that pleather material and then you got the buckle there that represents a metal buckle and then you got the vest with the stitching. Be careful with the buttons. You don't definitely want to get that caught on anything. They could probably fall off. You got the tank top underneath. Definitely looks like an actual tank top as you can see the stripes. I'm not gonna remove the vest, so don't anticipate seeing this guy without his vest. And then the skin tones. And I don't know if you can make it out uh, on, the, on video, but there are, there's definitely shading within the, the muscle grooves of the skin tone. Yeah, great job, man. Um, these bands here, these uh, arm bands, just be careful with them. They do, they are a separate piece. So if you swap the hands out, they can lift off or they can't fall off. 
Um, now let's take a look at Marco here. Oops. So Marco, same, same, same. So everything about his clothes is exactly the same with the exception of the colors. So as you can see, his boots are more of a reddish tone, but no exception to the detail. You can see the washes, the darker black of the dirt. Same thing with the treads, the stitchings of the pants. Oh, and then these are actual real pockets, believe it or not. If I go ahead and grab a uh, the young grenade, you can actually stick that in his pocket. So check that out. That is pretty damn dope. The vest has the same stitching work. Again, this he has a red vest versus the yellow vest. It's it's like your typical video game kind of uh, design where this is the player one color and that's the player two color. And then we took a look at his head scope earlier, but same thing. I mean, the glossy paint work on, on the eyes and then the headband there has a different tones to make it more like a like a dirty headband and then same thing some shading on the arms themselves very subtle shading on both all right let's take a look at articulation they're both going to be the same but we'll take a look so that way you can cover both all right so quickly going over articulation i'm going to use marco for this example just because they both share the same buck so marco is going to give us an idea on how much these both figures marco and tarma articulate um, both are on a double ball joint for the neck but just as a disclosure unfortunately and it may be due to the design of the head with the long you know stylized animated jaw and the back of the hair they both have uh, a hindrance when it comes down to looking when it comes down to looking down and then looking up so that's as much as he goes I'll show you guys Tarma real quick. See, he doesn't go much, unfortunately, and that's on both heads. And same concept. Most of the up look or the upper movement comes from the torso. They both have shoulders that allow you to strike the T, almost an X pose. There's no butterfly joints, unfortunately. I believe there isn't. But there is that like, slight ball joint that allows you to kind of swivel back and forth. Um, Upper arm cut, of course, you can rotate that. And double elbow joint. And ball and peg and hinge for the wrist. So, great articulation across the arms. I also truly admire the upper torso articulation. So, there's the upper diaphragm. So, it's able to move down that much. Back that much. Can't really tell because of the cloth. Uh, but now, you have the lower ab cut. So it's able to look down that much. And when you combine both joints, you got a fully bended figure. And then bends back that much. So pretty damn good. You can strike a, you can strike a, ma a matrix pose and dodge bullets left and right. Uh, his legs kick up that much. So pretty damn good in my opinion for a cloth figure. Doesn't go back far at all. Actually, it doesn't even go back. That's as far as it goes. And then double knee joint this is the warning that it gives us in regards to that thigh cut so just be careful and a disclosure you can articulate this at your own discretion i did not heat these figures up at all i just i'm just raw dogging it right now so so far it's good i've only had one unfortunate loss and that was his glasses um, and in terms of his ankle, there is no rotation underneath here. And unfortunately, it doesn't really pivot. You can see it just, just stays there. And it pivots a little bit inwards, just a little bit. Um, and it goes down not far, actually. Yeah, the boots are a little more to be desired. Um, they did throw in that cut. And usually when that cut's there... You can see that we usually when that cuts there, it's due to allowing the ankle to articulate a little bit more. But I don't feel like there is much articulation to these ankles at all. All right. And that pretty much covers both ex both accessories, both figures in terms of the articulation department. So let's go ahead and do some sizing so that we guys can get an idea how big these figures are. 
so just taking a look at some other figures from other lines I want to start off with SNK just to give you guys a closer look at how these bad boys scale with Storm Collectibles Iori and Storm Collectibles Terry Bogard since they are all from the SNK franchise here they are with another set of SNK figures from Storm Collectibles. This is Yori and Terry Bogart. So here they are with Ken Masters from two different companies. So you got Storm Collectibles Ken Masters, which is more 110 scale. And then you got SH Fig Arts Ken Masters, which is definitely 112 scale. So he fits a lot better than with, with both these figures. Here they are with some other cloth good figures. So of course this is Mesco's Street Gomez and Mesco's Doctor Strange. Only because I feel like these guys are a little on the stylized side as well, yet they're more cartoony. But here they are with NECA's Donatello from the Target 4 pack and Usagi Yojimbo. These actually make a good cross, don't you think? I mean, they did Double Dragon with uh, Battletoads. Why not Metal Slug with... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, an arcade version. Here they are with some other military base figures. So of course this is Hasbro's G.I. Joe Classified, Sergeant Slaughter, and Ricondo. I did say I was gonna compare this Beast Kingdom statue to these figures since they come from Metal Slug 3. So this is Beast Kingdom's D-Stage statue of Metal Slug 3 with the tank. And just cause I feel like this uh, Deku is stylized, here is Figma's Deku. If you guys want to see the review, I did one on this statue here. It's in my profile. So these dudes also do fight mummies and zombies. So I figured why not throw them in with NECA's mummy from their horror line. And this is Patriot Studios Zombie Cop. The zombie cop from Resident Evil. All right, I figured I'd do something a little fun since these dudes tend to fight the unthinkables in terms of villains in the game. So I put him up against Mattel's Rex, T-Rex, a.k.a. Rexy from the Hammond Collection, and McFarlane's Violator, the mega figure. And just panning it up so y'all can see. Yeah, I think that's pretty dope. Last, but definitely not least, here they are with the other figures in this same line. You got... The soldier with the open mouth, and then the soldier with the closed mouth. I took the helmet off so that way you guys can get an idea of with and without the helmet. Alrighty, so we've reached the end, and it's time to conclude things. And what do I think about these figures? I love them. I mean, simple and plain. I think Tung Chi Studios did a phenomenal job on giving Metal Slug fans some well premium designed 112 scaled iteration of metal slug characters and elements and accessories and so on and so forth they did a they knocked it out the park tremendously for those that do collect 112 scale figures if you're not a fan of metal slug i would say give these a shot maybe one or two shoot get yourself a soldier the soldiers retail 20 dollars less than these guys do these guys are 100 bucks the soldiers that are, are at 80. if you get the two pack you save a couple dollars now mind you this is off of 5k toys so i bought these off of 5k toys website these are also on big bad but they are marked up so if this video did anything to put some interest in your mind on picking these guys up i would do so immediately because when's the next time you're gonna see well articulated metal slug figures probably not in a long time and let alone these guys are at a premium quality so they got a premium price and in my opinion if that even matters they are well worth the price of admission so i do truly recommend these for both categories whether you're a fan or not more so the soldiers the soldiers fit more universally these are a little bit more specific to the video game um, by these of course marco and tarma aside from that though my hats off to tunchi studios big shout outs to them this gives this hits home i truly 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 enjoyed these figures they've been so much fun and I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to the next releases. And I hope that enough people that view this video or are fans of the franchise end up purchasing these figures so that way we can continue getting some more figures down the line or down the road. 
other than that uh, hopefully you guys like this video if you did please hit that like button uh, shoot me some feedback let me know what you guys think are you excited about this line um, have you already copped it what do you think uh, did I motivate you to cop it drop that on the comment uh, section below other than that why not think about subscribing I'm looking to do this in the long run I'm a big collector I have some videos already uploaded and I'm looking to do some more as I collect tons of other lines so hit that subscribe button other than that this is Poncho from Poncho's Palace and I am out